Welcome to How to Bangarang. I'm Swarmit, and today we'll be looking at Nidalee, the Broken Huntress. Are you tired of playing massive tanks and not being able to carry those ranked games? Tired of AP Ezreal mid? The Nidalee is the not-so-secretly overpowered burst slash poke slash mage assassin for you. Because screw AP Ezreal and everything he ever stood for. Warning, this was recorded before Riot finally fixed the Runeglaive enchantment. Now, Nid does slightly less damage in the same way a smaller bomb will destroy slightly less of a city. Whether it's her insane ranged poke, solo one-shot burst potential, or ability to steal kills she doesn't even deserve, nothing's going to stop this crazy kitty. Seriously, it's been a year since the rework, and Riot won't touch her. Ability Breakdown Time We're starting with her ult because it lets Nid switch between a long-range mage that can poke you full of more holes than Swiss cheese, and an up-close kitty cat assassin that's perfected the art of making the delete key an in-game ability. Each form has separate abilities with their own cooldowns. Oh, and if you land any ability damage in mage form, Nid can instantly switch back into her adorable little murder cat form. Because who needs cooldowns anyway? Nid's Q is her main damage in both forms. Mage form throws out a ridiculously long-range spear that deals stupid amounts of damage at max range. It also marks the target. Her death kitten form Q empowers her next attack and procs that mark for extra damage. Plus, it procs both on hits and spell effects. Plus, it's an execute. You're starting to see why she's broken now, aren't you? Nid's W is for utility. In mage form, you put down traps. Good for temporary vision, and that's it. Her blood rage feline W lets her jump forward. If she jumped toward the marked target, she'll leap on that mother trucker's face like they're covered in catnip. And she can do it every single time she marks someone. Because cooldowns are for losers. Nid's E heals in mage form and claws everyone in front of her in apocalypse cougar form. And the heal scales so hard off AP, which you should be building anyway. Good for saving yourself or your duo Q partner, that kill stealing son of a- that loving friend who just wants to help you get out of bronze. Throw everything together and observe. Q to do half of Jinx's health. Jump through the Sona Stun and still land your damage even while you're CC'd. Execute Jinx with the Death Kitten Q, heal yourself for a quarter of your health, land another spear, and then murder Kitty all over Sona's face with your non-existent cooldowns for the easy double. Totally balanced. Here's another example of the Death Furball in action. And we freeze it. Tristana is here. At full health and mana, all of her abilities are up. Nidalee is here. Already at less than half health. And my useless teammates are over here, completely ignoring the flank. Time for the perfect Nidalee combo. Land Q, swap into Psycho Fuzzball, ace roll the keyboard, and that's a dead Tristana. Nidalee in teamfights is the same as Nidalee alone, but with even more targets. Land a couple poke spears to practically kill them, dive straight into them, and press all the buttons. End result is a dead enemy team. For items, Nid works best with anything that builds out of Sheen, and then just stack as much AP as possible. Personally, I like Ludens Echo and a Death Cap, but if you think you can get away with stacking 5 Magi's, go for it. You probably won't regret it. And that's how to bangarang with Nidalee. Now get out there and get that elo. This is Swarmit, hogging out. They, they just finished changing those. Hey there, interwebs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to Nerdpocalypse for more. If there's other things you want to see me do, leave a comment and I'll definitely take a look at it. Finally, if you're addicted to more games than just League, check out Let's Rage. Right now I'm playing Dead Space 2 and Ori in the Blind Forest. You can find those playlists on the left and right. Thanks again and I'll catch you next time. This is Swarmit logging out. Peace, internet.